you probably already know that in our animation player, if we have it selected, we can add keys from our player or from whatever node. Here I have two keys, one for the position, well, they're the same, one key for the position. It basically just moves us from left to right. Now inside of our world, we can create a uh, or add our ready function. And here we can just call that animation called idle. So if I hit play, you will see that our, our player will move from left or from the left to the right. It'll play the animation. Now, another thing that you probably might not know is that inside of our animation player, we can go to add track. And there are a lot of things and tracks that we can add customizable. Now, the one I'm going to highlight is the call method track. I use this one quite a bit and you probably didn't know this existed unless you wouldn't be watching this video. Now, if you did, good for you, uh, but I'm going to show how to do this anyways. Now, in the animation track, this track that we're going to add will call a function from a script or from a node that we choose. So in my case, I'm going to choose the world script or world node, which has a script attached to it. And inside of here, I've created a function called func death. This will essentially just queue free the player. So inside of our animation track here, I can now insert key. And now in the script method, you can find the ready function, which is inside of the script already, right? You saw that ready function, or we can create our own uh, function here called death. And we can call this death function at the end of our idle animation here. Now you can see that this will be called uh, right before that animation. So we can leave it there if we want. And if we hit play, you will now see that the function is called, which is called death. And to prove it, we can go to the remote and see that the player has been queued free. All right, so that's it for this video. Hopefully this uh, was something that you guys didn't know about. Uh, it's a pretty cool feature inside of the animation player that many people might not know about. Um, of course, do I do encourage you to explore some of these other tracks that you can add, um, but the function one is the one I use the most. And I know many other developers use this one. It's a very neat uh, function and animation player inside of Godot is a very powerful tool. So definitely use it more often if you can. All right, I'll see you all in the next video.